Now, to start off, I thought it'd be great to show you a company that's really taking this concept of creating a digital twin and really going on a new journey to create a new map hub within Chevron. I'd like for you to welcome Nathan Marks to the stage. Nathan is a GIS coordinator. Look at that. I'm excited to have Chevron here. He's got a great story about their journey. Nathan, welcome to the stage. All right. Thank you, Danny. And thank you all for being here and giving me an opportunity to tell about Chevron's journey to implement Portal for ArcGIS, which we have branded internally as Chevron Map Hub. I've been feeling a bit nervous about getting up here and speaking in front of such a large audience, but I just heard from my eight-year-old nephew, Kyle, that he got up in front of his second grade class and gave a perfect PowerPoint presentation on how to safely ride an ATV. And he received an A from his teacher. It's easy, Uncle Nathan, he said. So the pressure's on and now I'm really nervous, but here it goes. Today I'm gonna to be talking about each phase of our journey so that you can understand where we were with WebGIS several years ago and what we decided to do what we did in terms of designing and implementing Chevron Map Hub, where we are now with Map Hubs deployed globally, how are they being used, and where are we going with our plan to transition to the cloud and enable digital acceleration in our business, and finally, how will we get there in terms of being more agile and innovative with GIS technology. So let's go back a few years to 2015. Chevron had already invested a lot of time and resources to build a GIS data foundation. In most business functions, GIS usage was limited to those with, proficient with ArcMap. There were some business units who had developed web GIS systems, but the projects to develop those applications were costly and took a long time. The lack of a target architecture and web GIS standards resulted in disparate solutions being deployed. Changes in standard web APIs, such as Silverlight being retired, made ongoing support difficult. So Chevron's central GIS team conducted a web mapping strategy study to assess the status and the future needs for web GIS within each of our business units. We looked at the alternatives and concluded that ArcGIS Enterprise was the best platform on which to continue building our GIS framework. We also concluded that by using Web App Builder to deploy solutions on Portal for ArcGIS, we could more efficiently meet the needs of a broader spectrum of business function users with varying levels of GIS proficiency. After the study, we presented our recommendations to Chevron's governance committee and secured approval to begin a phased deployment of what we began to referring to as Chevron Map Hub. Moving forward to 2016 and following a major organizational change, we began to design and implement the central map hub with a focus on these key aspects. We designed and documented our target architecture, including data, infrastructure, and solution application tiers. We designed a common user interface that incorporated Chevron branding, a logical organizational structure, but was flexible enough to allow customization by the business units. We migrated, published, and organized our enterprise GIS data sets in the Map Hub so they were easy for our users to find and access. And we utilized the Web App Builder as our standard application development framework to create standard application themes and develop custom widgets when needed, and to maintain them in a library that promoted discovery and reuse among Chevron's GIS developer community. This enabled huge improvements and time savings over how we did WebGIS application development in our past. By November of that year, we were able to deploy the central map hub, as well as a couple of business unit map hubs, unveiling them at Chevron's annual GIS Day celebration. An example business unit who was able to immediately leverage the Chevron map hub was our North America Exploration and Production Land Division. They deployed their CNAP land viewer for searching land assets and agreements, wells, and surveys. They used the Web App Builder framework to quickly develop custom widgets for simple functionality enhancements, such as an agreement search tool, which enables users to quickly and easily query the Quorum Land database, a well search tool, which enables users to refine their well database queries using spatial filters, an XY tool, 
which improves location accuracy by prompting users to choose the correct source data coordinate reference system when mapping locations. The CNAP Land Viewer has improved Land Function's due diligence efforts and empowered their end users to perform cross-functional spatial analysis. Now let's fast forward to where we are now and review the status of our global MapHub deployment effort. When we deployed MapHubs to our business units, we let them choose the service level that made sense for them based on where it would be hosted and who would manage the portal. As you can see on the map, we currently have 12 map hubs deployed in business units around the world, with users totaling around 2,500. These map hubs collectively contain around custom, 20 custom application themes or widgets and cover a variety of business functions and operational areas. For example, our MidCon and Appalachia business units, which focusing, focus on producing unconventionals, use their map hubs to visualize asset development, drilling and completions, and the status of operations. Our subsea business unit has developed their map hub as a portal, providing access to offshore platform engineering data such as bathymetry surveys and ROV inspection data. It contains custom widgets for 3D visualization of subsea equipment and also for performing precision measurements. Our corporate emergency response team is using the ArcGIS online version of Chevron map hub to consume UAV imagery in near real time to improve situational awareness for OSPA response. You can hear more details about this interesting project during Chevron's presentation and tomorrow's HSE oil spill contingency session. Now that I've told you where we've been on our journey from assessing and developing our strategy to designing and implementing the central map hub to deploying map hubs for business units around the world, now let me tell you a little bit about where we're going with Chevron Map Hub as we get ready to transition to managed services and Chevron's tenant space in the Azure cloud. And I'll also give you a glimpse of how GIS is helping enable Chevron's digital acceleration strategy. Chevron has partnered with Microsoft as our pre preferred cloud provider to help us streamline our IT operations and accelerate the application of advanced technologies to our business. In alignment with our corporate IT strategy, the GIS applications team is developing our cloud migration strategy for enterprise GIS. As part of this effort, we're conducting a pilot to implement a map hub in Chevron's Azure Cloud tenant that leverages Esri's managed cloud services to administer ArcGIS Enterprise Platform. A big focus of this pilot will be to define the roles and responsibilities for managing each component of the target architecture. Our expectation is that once we migrate our map hubs to the managed service cloud, this will free our GIS experts from managing the GIS platform infrastructure and allow them to refocus on supporting digital acceleration in the business. So how are we in GIS applications planning to help achieve our corporate strategy for digital acceleration? First, we must be laser focused on enhancing business workflows. We must change our mindset to be more agile and responsive. We will leverage our data foundation and cloud platform once it's in place and we will innovate with emerging technologies. For example, Chevron Upstream is putting a major focus on enabling field workflows. The GIS applications team is supporting this effort by leveraging emerging technologies and developing geospatial workflows such as conducting spatial analytics with network analysts to help optimize work order scheduling by location, consuming real-time HES vehicle tracking data in GeoEvent server to keep track of workers in the field, and deploying the Navigator for ArcGIS to help field workers optimize and navigate their routes to multiple work sites. And finally, we're using DevOps and Agile methods to quickly deploy these as minimum viable GIS solutions. So what are some lessons that we learned throughout our journey? We learned that GIS standards and governance were crucial for implementing an enterprise GIS strategy. We developed MapHub using configurable and reusable components to streamline future app development. By empowering users to build their own solutions on top of the standard platform, we accelerated its adoption. Moving to managed cloud services to administer Chevron's ArcGIS Enterprise Platform appears to be a promising alternative, which will free up Chevron's GIS staff to focus on supporting the business. And by building our maturity in DevOps and Agile methods, we can more quickly deploy incremental enhancements to Chevron's MapHub platform. 
On behalf of everyone who has played a part in our MapHub journey, thank you for the opportunity to tell our story. I hope you learned something useful to your own GIS implementations, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Great job, Nathan. To me, this is a perfect example of someone reevaluating how they're using location information and intelligence within their organization. Chevron really looked at, to me, three key, three key pillars about what they were thinking about. The technology and how they are modernizing their ArcGIS platform. The organization changes that Nathan talked about within their company to help support in the business to get buy-in on their projects. And the third thing is that you can see they're starting to rethink the infrastructure that they're using. But overlying all of that was the business value. It was interesting to see how they're thinking about moving towards mobile and analytics and having an agile development strategy.